So we're going on our camping trip soon. We're gonna do a little off-roading. However, Tessa recommends when any of you go off-roading, especially if there's lots of holes and rocks, you can damage something called the wheel phalange, or it's a wheel fairing. It's supposed to help with aerodynamics. I mean, maybe because the wheels are so big, it's how it kind of diverts the air downwards. There is a way to remove the front ones very easily. So you can see there's some trim pieces here I have to remove to bring this back in order to gain access to some bolts in here to remove this. As far as this piece goes, it looks like there's a piece here that needs to be removed. We'll see how easy it is to remove this piece here. So we're going to go to the dynamic off-road, confirm, launch off-road, and we're gonna go to overland. Very high should be good. And here we go, we are raising very high. So it should be easy to access this area. Let me see if I can maybe rotate the wheels to the right. Nope, now I can't even access this clip. All right, so I got my little picker here. Best way to remove the trim tool. Look at that. Let's see if we can remove this without removing the wheel. Yes. So luckily they made removing this very easily. So once you remove that, you can already see there's a bolt right in there, right over there, as well as this bolt here that needs to be removed. Once I remove that, this thing is just held in with like clips kind of, and it could come off. I'm gonna be placing this. Oh, that thing is kind of far, like all the way at the bottom. So I have this, I like it because it extends the drill, so it makes it way easier. And then I'm just gonna kind of put my finger, put it all the way in there, Let's see if I can. Did I get it? Yep, I got it. Well, they didn't make it easy. It is 10 millimeters, but I just had to twist it a few times, like twice manually, and then I was able to get rid of it. Wow, that was so easy. Here's the bolt here. It's one of these bolts. Fits perfectly on the 10 millimeter, but it goes so fast. So it's not really in really too quickly. It's like a double bolt type of situation. So once you loosen it slightly, it comes off very simple. So I did the far one, which is the hard one. Maybe I could just use this and see if I could undo the close one. There we go, yeah, got it. Whew, that wasn't too bad. 10 millimeter, you just need the bolt. You know, already the bolts kind of hold it in place. So it's already kind of falling down. Look at it, it's already falling off. So two bolts, and here we go. So it's held in with clips, so the clips kind of go upwards to the center of the vehicle, and it's just held in with these two here. And then once that's done, oh man, this is dirty. It just provides more clearance. Then I just have to grab these, pop it open here, done. And the other one here, done. So that's in. All right, not too bad. The front ones were not too bad, but now let's try doing the rear one. As far as the rear ones go, apparently there's like a bolt and you have to remove this entire trim, but I don't really know because they don't really explain it on the service manual. Back one looks way more difficult because there is a bolt here and this mounts onto here. There is a clip on here. It looks like it should come out fairly easily. Let's see what we're working with for the back ones. Luckily the back ones are a little smaller, but I still don't want to risk damaging anything. So let's see how easy it is. Two clips too, just like the other one. Pop that right in there. This tool is amazing. I think I might have to move this clip as well. So this one is held in with by the trim, but um, I'm gonna see if I, I can do it without doing that. So we have the trim here. This side's a lot more difficult. Looks like it's held in this way. Holy, that's not the bolt for that. I see the bolt, it's impossible. Oh my, there's a reason why they don't have you remove it. There's a bolt, I can't even show you guys. It's impossible to access. It's all the way like right in here. Oh, maybe it's this bolt. Let me see, let me try. So I have this, let's see if this will work. Righty tidy, lefty loosey. All right, so let's see, there's a bolt down here. So it's another 10 millimeter bolt on the bottom of the trim and we'll see what this does. There we go, so I remove this. I think that's what was holding it. Is it? No, oh, no, it's the whole trim. You see that? It's the whole entire trim piece right here. That's what that was. But I think I might have to keep the back ones and hopefully that don't damage anything. I don't think. Yeah, I don't know how to remove this back piece. Is that my skin? Oh, that's my skin, bruh. Yeah, always hurt my fingers whenever I do this trim removal stuff. There's some give here, but I don't wanna break it because it still looks like it's very attached to this whole piece right here. The front ones were easy though. So there you have it, done. So that's where it used to be right there. And you can see the rear one's still attached, but hopefully that doesn't get in the way. So we went off-roading, we had an amazing time. It was so much fun. Now we gotta reinstall this. Now technically you don't have to reinstall it. It looked fine without it, and I don't think it's gonna really affect the range that much, but I mean, 
We have it here, so might as well just reinstall. We have our two bolts here. Make sure we got this. So we're gonna remove two of these trim pieces first. That's one, and the second one's over here. That's two. Now we have easy access to here. And at the bottom here, there's these little holes. There's little holes, but the holes have a plastic piece inside of them, which allows it to kind of just keep in place. And you have this plastic tab here. So very simple, and it even says it on here. This is for the left fascia wheel fairing right here. So all we have to do is line up the bolts and then see how when I'm putting it in, when I'm putting it, I put it in at a slight angle because it has to go into that plastic piece inside of the hole there. And at the same time, making sure that it's lined up with there. So the bolts are lined up. Yep. So it goes in, see this angle right here. It goes in like that. And then after that just snaps in, it's in. Once that's in, I recommend just hand tighten it. You don't need to use a 10 millimeter bolt and tighten it even down because what if you want to go off-roading again, you want to remove it. If you go off-roading a lot, then I suggest you just completely just keep it off put our finger in there hand tighten one of them they make the front one's very very easy and the back one is all the way in the back no need to rotate the tires again that actually makes it way harder all i recommend is put your suspension on high there might be another trim piece all the way in the back because it looks like i'm missing one i don't know how but it's right there all the way in the back still easy to get to on high suspension but keep that in mind if you're having some difficulty removing this plastic piece you have one trim piece here one piece here and then another one all the way in the back over there and if you guys don't know with these ones you have to pop this piece out first then you find the hole and you just push it in and then push it in like that now we're done Good. Anyways, guys, that's how you do it. If you don't want to risk damaging your trim and having any issues, at least they made removing those bad boys super easy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.